In this tutorial from Zoot Media, we're going to show you how to add a custom field to a post. And the main reason you would want to do this is if you're using a premium theme or any free theme out there that uses thumbnails or images for your post. And usually when you get the instructions with your theme, it's going to tell you to go in and add a custom field with a certain value, such as article, thumbnail, something like that. And a lot of people get a little confused with that because they're not sure where to go about doing that. So I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial on how you can add a custom field. So all you need to do is either go into your post section here and either add a new post or edit an existing one. And what you'll see is that the custom field section is actually located directly below where you write a post. So if you go into any post that you've written, you'll notice that custom fields are located down here so you'll have to scroll down a little bit but you'll notice this custom field section and whenever they tell you to enter a custom field with the name of something and a value of something all you need to do is put it into this box so for example if your theme says to put a custom field called thumbnail and then the value is usually going to be a URL to an image that you want to use for the thumbnail and the easiest way to get that is to just use the built-in add an image button that you normally use to add an image to a post. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the picture that you want to use, or you can upload it directly in here. And you're going to want to copy this link URL. And if for some reason it's not in there, just click the file URL button and it'll automatically insert that URL. And then it's just a matter of copying it and then closing out of this add image screen and then scrolling back down to custom field and all you have to do is paste that URL right here in the value and simply hit the add custom field button and as soon as you see it highlight yellow like that that tells you that it's been saved and now this image is automatically attached to this post for the thumbnail and like I said before some themes use different names some of them will have like article image or thumb some of them use thumbnail, so you want to make sure to look at the instructions that came with the theme you're using just to make sure you're using the right name and the right value. And that's all it really takes to add a custom field to a blog post, and then you can automatically start using thumbnails for your themes. And some of the themes will also resize your image automatically to fit whatever size thumbnail they're using, so that's another thing that should most likely be included in your instructions that came with your theme. And that's all you need to do to add a custom field.